So this monument, the idea is that um, if genocide is a crime against humanity, then it's a crime against all of us, so we should all care and pay attention. My family came here because of the war and genocide in my country. So a lot of my work um, as an artist has been about displacement and trauma and memory. The coffee drinking ritual in Bosnia is, it's not about the quality of the coffee the way people think of it here. It's about the fact that it's always uh, a shared experience. I've been invited over the years by Bosnian diaspora communities to basically come and organize the monument with them. Each year I'm kind of starting from scratch and working with a brand new group of people that just I just have to trust and hope it all works out. It is something that embodies our history and truth, what has happened, but it's also in public space, so it's accessible to everybody. But it kind of flips the idea of a monument um, on its head. So it's ephemeral and temporary and participatory as opposed to this like cold piece of stone usually or steel that you don't pay attention to. As much as this project is about absence and, and trauma and sadness, it's also very much a project of like strength and agency and hope because it is people who remember others who are there. Um, so anyway, bringing it back to my home country is a big deal and I feel like once the cups touch the ground, it has to end.